Today I'm going to be sharing my March Smart Art Box project. Hi, I'm Lisa, the artist behind La Cree Fine Art. If you are unfamiliar with what the Smart Art Box is, it is a monthly subscription box where every month you get a box full of full-size art supplies sent to your home. This video is sponsored by Smart Art Box. One of my favorite things about this box is not just the supplies, but you also get a brochure that goes over everything, like the history of the style you're working in. You get some project pointers, some information on the materials that come in the box, and on the back, you have step-by-step -step instructions on how to complete your own project. So if it's something you've never worked in, before, you're not going to feel totally lost. Another cool thing is with these boxes, more often than not, you've got enough supplies in there to complete several, several projects. I'm tempted to fill this entire sketchbook of octopus drawings. What? I get obsessive about stuff. Let's go ahead and take a look at what came in my box. Opening the box, everything's wrapped up in tissue paper. It feels like you're opening a birthday present. We've got the brochure that I have already gone over. We've got a five piece coloring marker set. These are alcohol based markers very pretty colors. Next we have this set of 15 markers. These ones are fairly fine point, so really nice for detail. And after that we've got this pen and ink sketch pad and a coloring colorless blender marker two pack. No one's going to be shocked by this, but I was pretty excited about the colors that those markers came in. So let's go ahead and take a look at my project. I started by sketching out my octopus with a regular graphite pencil. Now I am taking this really pale aqua color and adding this in first. I'm going to go all the way around and these markers have two different sizes on it, the smaller one and a much larger tip on the other end. These are alcohol based markers. I really like how these markers lay down on this paper. The only thing is that the paper is very thin, so the colors did bleed through to the pages behind it. So if this was something where I was concerned about that happening, I would just put a blank page underneath or in between this page and the ones underneath in order to protect those so that the, pre the pages after stayed clean. I'm actually though, in this sketchbook, I'm going to let those little ink blotches that bled through work in with whatever my next project is going to be. Probably an octopus. So now I'm switching to my darker color here. I know you guys are shocked. I'm using the teal and turquoise colors. I thought I'd put a highlight on his head and then realize it looks like a weird eye so or a bubble. I don't know. It just didn't look right. So I ended up going right back over that. Now one of the things that I forgot was that it came with the blending markers or the colorless blenders. So I didn't use those until the end, which probably weren't ideal. I think you're supposed to use those while they're still wet. But those, this blended pretty well without them. I was not unhappy with this. The funny thing is for somebody who consistently says I'm not an artist who enjoys working in markers, both the sets of markers I now have, I absolutely had a blast working in. I had the stupidest grin on my face as I drew this, maybe because I like octopus, but, or octopi, I'm saying that wrong, but, or it could be because they were teal and turquoise, but I really, really had a lot of fun drawing this and definitely want to fill out this sketchbook with these markers. Keeping these little loopy, lines for his arms. One of the sections here I completely missed where his arm was. I had to go back in later after I finished filming. I realized, oh, we're missing a line there. That arm just kind of connects to nothing. So I had to go back in and add that in. Next, I'm going to use a ruler to keep my lines straight and the black marker that came in that 15 marker pack. Line in where he's, the line or rope that he's sitting on, whatever it is. I'm also adding some lines around his body to make things stand out a little bit more. I really wasn't sure where I was going with this. I had no idea which colors I wanted to use other than the aqua and that teal color. From there, I was just experimenting and having fun. That's one of the things that I like so much about working in sketchbooks is just experimenting, playing. I don't care if this comes out good or not. I'm not selling it. This is for me to have fun. So I think that's probably why I enjoyed the process so much where I found that stupid grin on my face during it. It was just a lot of fun and it was very fast. That's one thing that I really like with markers. Working in something like this, you can lay down color so quickly. So these would work great for coming up with color compositions or designs for bigger paintings or drawings that you plan to do. 
adding some shadows there with this darker blue color. And obviously this is not something I'm going super realistic on, so I just get to play with where do I think a lighter or a dark color would look good. Underlining that shadow a bit more. And I decided to add in some bubbles using the lighter color first. And I thought I would add shadows on all of these bubbles and realized that wasn't looking good, so I just added in two sets of bubbles, the lighter color first, left the light ones light, and then added darker ones in between. And because I thought we could play with some of these other markers too. I took the peach color and went through and lined portions of the octopus's body and legs. It gives you some really nice thin lines there. And that color just works so well with teal and turquoise shades. You definitely have a fair amount of control with these smaller markers. Once I did that and I was putting everything away, I realized, oh my gosh, I forgot about the colorless blenders. So I decided to see what would happen if I went over a dried area. It blends pretty well over wet areas. It doesn't really do much when it's dry. It would smudge the color a little bit, but not a whole lot. They blend much, much better if you do, you add this or blend out while it's still wet. Or immediately following your initial lay down of color, I should say. If you are interested in signing up to get your own Smart Art Box subscription, I have a link in the video description along with a coupon code that will give you a discount off your subscription for life. I've also got listed all of the countries that this is available in. Wait, don't leave! Have you subscribed yet? If not, there is a button right there that you can click. It's round, has an orange arrow going to it. You can't miss it. If you click on that, that'll help you to keep up to date with all five of my new art videos every single week.